Cap and Web is a tiny RPC library from Cloudflare that works over HTTP WebSockets or post message created by the same person behind Cap and Proto, which means it's fast and also supports batching requests like GraphQL and bidirectional calling so the server can call a function on the client. But why would anyone use this over TRPC? And what's with the weird name? Let's get into it. And before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe. RPC or Remote Procedure Call is a way for two programs to communicate over a network on what looks like a regular function call instead of a URL with a bunch of parameters, even though there are other type safe RPC clients for JavaScript like TRPC and ORPC, which we've actually made a video about over here. CAP and Web, which stands for Capabilities and Web, uses an object capability model instead of being request response based, which means objects can only communicate with another object if they have the permission or capability to do so. Cap and Web also uses a fast JSON encoder for serialization and supports promise pipelining, eliminating multiple round trips. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Here is a simple bun react project that shows the result of an API call when I hit this send button. The front end and the API endpoint are being served here and the send button is simply making a fetch call to this URL and returning the results. Let's update this project to use cap and web via HTTP by first importing the HTTP batch response and RPC target class. From here, we'll make a new class, which I'll call my API that extends RPC target. Yes, cap and web requires you to write a class that contains all the methods you want to use. Then down here, I can replace the API hello root with this new API one that runs the new HTTP batch RPC response function, passing in the request and a new instance of my class. We can delete this line since we don't need it. And that's it for the server. In the client, let's import the new HTTP batch RPC session function along with the RPC stub type and the RPC target type. From here, we'll create a new interface that extends RPC target and matches the return type of our get hello function to keep everything nice and type safe. Then all we have to do in this section is to delete all this code and add a new variable called stub with the using keyword to run some functions on disposal. Check out the link in the description to learn more about this keyword. This connects to our API endpoint, and then we can call the get hello function from the server as if it was on the client. You may have to restart the server for this to work. And now if we make a request to the endpoint, everything works as it did before. But does this mean you have to create a new stub for every single component that makes an API request? Not exactly, because in React, we could use the context API to create a context provider. And then with the use context hook, we could create a context consumer function that we can use in every component that needs to make an API call. When it comes to bidirectional calling, I haven't found an easy way to do it with HTTP. So it looks like doing it with WebSockets is the best option, but unfortunately for Bun, Cap and Web doesn't support WebSockets out of the box. So right now you'd have to use Node with WS or just to use Dino. But using Node with WS, our server API class has a function called hello that returns hello from the server. Then down here, we're making a WebSocket connection that's creating a new stub for client data and the server is running the hello function on the client. Meanwhile, the client also has a class that has a hello function returning hello from the client. And down here, we're making a server stub that is running the server hello function. So running the server will call the client function and running the client will call the server function, which is really impressive for a library that's just 10 kilobytes. I've always thought adding RPC to an app was an extra unnecessary layer, but after seeing how easy it is to implement with cap and web, not to mention the performance benefits you get and the first class Cloudflare worker support, I actually think I'm gonna use it in all of my side projects going forward, even though it's highly experimental. Cloudflare are already using it for remote bindings in Wrangler. But anyway, what do you think of Cap and Web? Is it something you're going to try out or will you stick to TRPC? Let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy coding.